I remember when people were sitting there and saying, man, give Lamar Jackson a great situation. He's going to win a Super Bowl, right? People were sitting there discrediting Greg Roman, right? People were breaking down Hollywood Brown. People were sitting there saying Lamar Jackson is not a great situation. That's the reason why he's choking every single year in the playoffs, right? Even in his MVP years in 2019, right? People were sitting there making all the excuses for Lamar Jackson. And we go to this year when coming off a playoff meltdown by Lamar Jackson against the Kansas City Chiefs, right? When Lamar Jackson is even in a better situation. When Lamar Jackson got a historical defense, something that we haven't seen a defense do since the 80s and 90s, since the NFL merger. Lamar Jackson got even much better weapons and Zay Flowers and Odell Beckham, right? And Isaiah Likely and Mark Andrews as well, right? Even better coaching, right? Todd Munkin. People say Todd Munkin is better than Greg Roman. And got John Harbaugh, right? And looking at the defensive personnel that he has as well, right? Which that produced for the Ravens to be the best team in the NFL. Lamar Jackson choked on his food again. And we talk about this is the same choke job that he had in his MVP year, which he's likely to win another MVP, which is crazy because the man didn't even lead no major statistical category for an MVP. He wasn't even top 10 in passing yards, and he wasn't even top 10 in touchdowns as well. And he's still able to win an MVP despite of his numbers being mid. Right? So... Going into this Chiefs game, Lamar Jackson is in the best situation of any quarterback this year. You have great weapons. You have a great defense, historical defense at that. Great coaching. It should be no excuses why Lamar Jackson won't go to the Super Bowl, bro, and win it all. And he choked on his food again, man. Lamar Jackson in the second half in that Chiefs game was absolutely terrible. Couldn't lead his team to a touchdown drive. Especially when that historical defense played outstanding. They held Mahomes Chiefs to 17 points throughout the entirety of the game. In the second half of the game, they shut down Mahomes Chiefs offense, bro. Completely. So, despite of the defense, the historical defense that Lamar Jackson has, holding the Chiefs offense to 17 points, and shut them out in the second half, Lamar Jackson went scoreless in the half, in the second half of the game. And then his decision making was absolutely ter terrible. He wasn't running the football when the opportunity was there. He was overthrowing receivers as well, right? He threw it into triple covers with Isaiah Likely, right? He overthrew Odell Beckham. He overthrew Zay Flowers as well, right? He was terrible. And he got stripped. With the fumble as well. Lamar Jackson was complete terrible. And he choked on his food. I remember. Before going into this playoffs. People were sitting there saying that Lamar Jackson is a top two, top three quarterback in the NFL. People were sitting there saying Lamar Jackson is the MVP. Right? So it's time to hold Lamar Jackson to those standards. When you sit there and say that he's a top five quarterback. Or a top two quarterback. Who's in a great situation. Where they have great schemes, where they have a great offense, a great O line, great coaching as well. It shouldn't be no excuses that you shouldn't get this team to the goddamn Super Bowl, bro. And he didn't once again. He's a playoff fraud. Lamar Jackson's what I always thought he was always been, bro. He's always been terrible in the playoffs. Always. The two wins that he has in the playoffs, bro. You can make an argument, and this is an accurate argument, that though defense played a huge factor on them winning. We can focus back in, I believe, in 2020, I believe, or 21. I, I couldn't remember in those years where they beat the Titans and in the um, wild card round. That defense held the Titans, who's the number one ranked offense at that time, to under their average, way below their average. Then if you look at the Houston Texans, people were sitting there saying C.J. Stroud and that offense, right, where they obliterated their elite defense in the Cleveland Browns. He holds C.J. Stroud 
The Ravens hold C.J. Stroud in that offense to three points. While Lamar was sticking up in the first half, Lamar could have went scoreless in the second half and, was, and probably kicked the field goal, and they still would beat the C.J. Stroud, Houston, Texas, bro. So this was a big test for Lamar Jackson, right? You're going against a Chiefs defense who's elite. You have great weapons. You got a historical defense on your side with multiple all pro players, right? You got elite level O line, right? And you have great coaching. What did Lamar Jackson do? He failed. He choked once again, bro. A playoff masterclass that Lamar Jackson did and against the Houston Texans, he completely choked in the AFC Championship game against the Chiefs, bro. And y'all want to sit there and say that was a playoff masterclass against the Houston Texans, who was a below-average defense? No, it was not, bro. I've always been right when talking about that player in Lamar. He is not good enough. His playing style is not good enough to win a Super Bowl. When you have a quarterback whose main ability is to run the football, bro, and that is his main attribute, bro, which I don't believe he is not an elite passer. He is not going to win a Super Bowl playing like that, bro. And Lamar Jackson tried to play like that against the Chiefs. And the thing is, he just not good enough. Quit put him in these conversations, bro. This man, Lamar Jackson, has won MVPs after MVPs. And when his MVP years, he has completely choked every single time. And I'm going to give you a stat, ladies and gentlemen. Lamar Jackson in the playoffs is 2-4. and four. This man, Lamar Jackson, has a total of 9 touchdowns and 8 turnovers. That is terrible. That is a playoff choker. And, bef and, going to, and before going into the playoffs this year, he had more interceptions than touchdowns, bro. And he faced a sorry Houston Texans defense. And he was able to cook. So at the end of the day, this was the best situation for Lamar Jackson to win. And he choked on his food. The biggest choker I've seen in the playoffs and in NFL history. That goes to Lamar Jackson. So you can't blame the weapons. You can't blame the O-line. You can't blame the coaching. And you cannot play the blame the defense, bro. Because the ble defense played outstanding. And you can make the argument the defense as a whole was more impactful than Lamar Jackson in this year's playoffs. Lamar is sad. You cannot win with him. You can't. And the people that crucify Lamar Jackson and speak facts about Lamar Jackson, people get considered a hater. They be labeled as a hater. When the stuff that I've been saying about Lamar Jackson has been facts, he hasn't approved as a passer. No, he hasn't. The thing is, Lamar Jackson just got better weapons. When you got better weapons and you're in a better offensive scheme, you, you, you're going to put up better results. Right? But Lamar Jackson does not do, do well with blitz, especially in the pocket as well. Right? He held on the ball too long, especially against the Kansas City Chiefs, which he missed Odell open so many times underneath. He missed Mark Andrews open so many times underneath as well. He was overthrowing receivers running a flat route and you threw it into triple covers when Isaiah likely asked for the ball. Like, what read is that? Then he was overthrowing Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham's a Super Bowl champion. You, you didn't even target him not once in a goddamn game. And the time that you did target him, you overthrew him. So this narrative is that, oh, Lamar Jackson doesn't have elite weapons. The problem is, is when he gets those elite weapons, he don't know how to use them. He don't. But I am considered a hater because when you put Lamar in these top three to top four standards, when you hold him to the standards of a guy that's an MVP caliber player, right? You consider a hater. If Lamar Jackson would have won that game tonight, guarantee you all y'all will be giving credit to Lamar Jackson and not give credit to that historical defense. Because you know why? You didn't give credit to that historical defense when they shut down CJ Stroud in that Houston, Texas offense. You did it. So at the end of the day, when you dive deep in the water and when you break it all the way down, this is all on him. Lamar Jackson is the main reason why they lost because if they would have, if he would have played better, they would have won that game. 
Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy Mookie Jones. I'm out.